Today, Disney Plus released their new Home Alone movie. And I say new Home Alone movie as opposed to a Home Alone remake, because contrary to popular belief, this is not a reboot. It's in the same continuity as the first film, but that's also in some ways a huge detriment to it. Now, there are a few things about it that work, mainly the main actor. He did a good job. I don't really think it's fair to compare him to Macaulay Culkin, so on his own, not looking at the previous films or anything as a performance, yeah, he did a pretty good job. There's also a surprise cameo from an original cast member in the film that I won't spoil, but it also being connected to the original as opposed to its own thing as a reboot is also a bit of a detriment to it, because in some ways it just you're comparing it to the original as opposed to it's its own thing. Now, the biggest issue with this movie is the way they wrote the burglars. In the original, these were just two nasty, evil people who wanted to break into houses and steal things for their own greed and just for the fun of it. They were bubbling, but they were also dangerous. You got a sense of fear and danger from them, and it looks like they're going to kill Kevin. The ones in this one are sympathetic. In fact, they're practically the main characters of the film. The main kid, who in this one is named Max, takes his family heirloom from them that's worth a lot of money, so they're simply trying to get it back. So when Max sets up all these traps, you don't get a sense of schadenfreude when you're watching it. You feel bad for them. The main novelty of the first and even the second film was seeing this kid outsmart these two criminals. Now you just see the kid as the villain. So all the novelty and fun of the first two films is gone. And on top of that, the movie knows that it's bad, as if that will excuse it being bad. There's meta jokes about how sometimes classic movies shouldn't be remade, as if by acknowledging that this whole thing was a bad idea, we'll somehow forgive it if they acknowledge it's a bad idea. But no, because if anything, it just makes it lazier, because it says we couldn't come up with anything better, so you get what you get. And that infuriates me all the more, because it basically said we're not even going to try. So yes, the writers and director deserve a lump of coal in their stockings for Christmas this year. This was just all around a bad idea. Overall, I give Home Sweet Home Alone a D+, a 3 out of 10, and a 1 out of 5 stars.